All right, everyone. Hello. Today we're going to continue with our discussion about our self-learning module. Okay, so this is our fifth video for the self-learning module. All right. So in this module, so this is module four now. Solutions. Let's have the. customized version where is it so we're in module 4 all right so in this module you will learn to investigate properties of unsaturated or saturated solutions your targets at the end of this module you distinguish unsaturated and saturated solutions enumerate examples of unsaturated and saturated solutions and show willingness to give examples of unsaturated and saturated solutions so we have the unlocking of difficulties unsaturated a solution that completely dissolves leaving no remaining substances so since this is uh, highlighted so you can still click on that and you have uh, Another description of unsaturated, which is a solution that contains less than the maximum amount of solute that is capable of being dissolved. Then, for the saturated solution, the additional solute will not dissolve in a saturated solution. And we have the solute and the solvent. So, component present in small amount, it's a solute, and the large amount, it's the solvent. For the next page, again, we have the the pre-assessment right let's try to answer this wow 5 over 5 then we have the jigsaw puzzle for our activity Again, another jigsaw puzzle. So the student should um, should arrange this. walang congratulations pa alright so dapat i-fit talaga na mabuti para may congratulations alright let's now proceed to the next page <coughs> excuse me po we have spot the difference so just just click on the difference so just like in this sec second um second figure there's a difference so you can see in figure 2.2 a large amount of solute has dissolved another difference is in this one 
as you can see, I read. So then you have the congratulations because you have seen the difference. Alright, let's continue to the next page. Alright, so we have to keep this in mind, the discussion portion. So the types of saturated, uh, saturation, excuse me. Um, we have the unsaturated and the saturated. Then we have another activity after the discussion. So in this uh, activity, you are going to group the example given. Okay, or the examples given as to unsaturated is solutions example or saturated solutions example. So for example, this vinegar. So I remember a vinegar and the mist. Spoonful. Enough. Full full only. Okay. Okay. Let's try to show answer. Wow. I got it all, all correct. Then next page, we have the reflex. So we, you are going to choose example of solution. Then you need to choose more than one. So we have vinegar, food coloring, water. Then sugar dissolve in water. So we have that answer in the answer key. Okay, so we are correct. Then we have another evaluation. Okay, so at the end of each module, we have to really answer an evaluation or the post test. Then the the answers are already. Uh, available readily available after you answer the questions then we have the glossary portion the answer key and the references then we are going to proceed to module 5 for our next session okay so thank you so much for listening don't forget to write or to comment your email at below for your free copy <laughs>